Hi there and welcome to day four. We've made it over half of the first week and we're still in the mindset week. So today, like promised yesterday, I'll be covering two speeches that have pretty much changed my life and I'll explain why they've changed my life as well. So as you might have noticed, this video is a little bit short and the reason why is because I'll be referring you to those two speeches that you can then watch and each speech, the first one is I think around 20 minutes and the second one, which is the most valuable one, is I think around an hour and a half. This speech I watch every month, uh, I try to watch every month at least and I'll go deeper into, into it but it's one of the most important speeches that you'll have to watch completely. But let's, uh, let's move on and go to the first one. So the first one will pop up there um, and that is the speech from Art Williams, Just Do It. So a little bit of a background story, uh, about two or three years ago I was doing sales for, for some charity events and I was doing, that was part of my student job, so I was a student uh, back then uh, working and studying at the same time. So it was really tough on me and um, at the time I was in that sales organization it was very corporate. You had a clear hierarchy and you had this corporate structure and every time they would promote they would promise to promote you and so you would work harder and they would you would have all these incentives and they would never promote so it would it would take like I think it took me a couple of months after they had promised to promote me to actually get promoted. So it took really long. Anyway, so I was in this corporate structure and all of the mentors that I had back then in, in that organization that were helping me with the sales and, and improving my sales, uh, they were promising me a lot. They were saying that I had to sacrifice pretty much everything that I had in my life in order to really get high up and, and to get really high positions so pretty much neglect my relationships and just focus on the job as much as possible and they were giving so many incentives to literally uh, go away from everything in my life and just focus on my job but as I already mentioned if you start doing that over the long term you're gonna be less productive uh, so if you want to maintain high productivity everything needs to be balanced so I was I was in this uh, in this whole environment and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that you had to sacrifice everything in order to be more productive and to earn more money. And uh, I was very stubborn and I think for a year or so I was thinking it's not possible, it's not possible, it's not possible. And um, and somehow almost I got convinced. And then one day I suddenly stumble on a speech by Art Williams where he talks about um, just doing it. And for many people, it's a really motivating speech to go out and do sales and like get your idea into a reality and stuff like that. But for me, the thing that I got from that speech is one moment he says something like, uh, first you have religion, then you have family, then you have business or something like that. And here I see a, a guy that runs a company with over a billion dollars revenue and he's saying, you can't focus only on business and he, he goes through the story of how he managed to become a vice president in one company and he starts seeing how miserable everyone was around him and that in order to become really successful you need to have this hierarchy where you actually put your family first and, and uh, things like that so that's what started motivating me for for real this time and I saw I saw this video by Art Williams and suddenly I realized that the people around me were not the people I should be surrounding myself with. The people around me should be people that believe it is possible. Because just by believing, they will start constructing a reality where it's actually possible. So you don't want to be around people that don't believe it's possible. Because just by thinking it, they will construct their reality. And like I said before, between you and me, if you start thinking it, you'll construct your reality. And, and like I said before, even the statistics show it and you see it in the newspapers all the time. When you start burning out, you're not productive anymore. So you can maintain it maybe for a year or two years, but eventually you're gonna burn out. 
So that's a short story about Art Williams and how he motivated me to, to change the environment around me and to start believing that yes, it is possible and not in, only is it possible, it is needed to achieve optimal peak performance and productivity. The next speech is by Will Bowen and I would think that this is the most popular thing in the world. But if you look at the views, then you start realizing that not many people know that in that speech. Uh, he's been featured on Oprah. There are so many people following him at this point. I think his book is a bestseller. And in short, his entire speech, which I think is an hour and a half, is pretty much the summary of his book, which I also advise. He talks about a complaint-free world. And he made this little game that I'm not going to go too deep into because I really want you to see the speech, but he made this little game uh, that teaches you how to stop complaining. And when I told you yesterday that this is, this is the speech that you need to master in order to gain success in your health, wealth, and relationships, I meant it. If you can master the art of not complaining and just being a regular happy person that whenever something goes wrong, you see the positive in that, then you are up for success because again, you shape your own reality. Your brain sees what you want it to see. So if you stop complaining and you're positive constantly, then success will get to you. Just like Jim Rohn used to say, um, in order to become, you can't, tr you can't uh, get success, you have to become successful to attract success. So that, that speech actually gives you the tangible action steps to become that successful person. Now, not everybody is perfect at not complaining, even I'm still playing the game. But what you do is you, you kind of share that speech with your inner circle and they can keep you accountable so that when you complain, they, they will recognize that you are actually complaining and they can tell you, look, you're complaining, you have to stop. Obviously, when you see the speech, then you realize that you can tell people that they complain, but he gives you tangible action steps on how you can reframe the conversation in such a way that the person actually realizes that they should think positively. But I'm not perfect at it as well, but I am learning every day and I'm inviting you to join me on the journey of learning on how not to complain because I can tell you how many projects I've had where because I didn't complain and because I was happy and positive, uh, it grew out to become a very, very good client of mine and getting new projects from other clients and so on. So definitely something to look into. For uh, tomorrow, we're going to be covering uh, a core mindset uh, to success. And it's um, I'll be sharing the, it's kind of a one-liner that I keep in the back of my mind that every time something happens, this is the thing that I usually say so the people around me would really know uh, this. And it's kind of uh, small actions versus big actions and how they can influence your success over the long term. Um, I've learned this from my mentor who was in special forces um, and this was five years ago, five or six years ago and I've been getting only other mentors that have been just telling me this is correct and they've be, they have their own philosophies on it and so on. So it's definitely something to look into. I'll see you tomorrow for that video where I go deeper into the core mindset. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoy Will Bowen's speech and I hope you enjoy Art Williams' speech just like I enjoy them and I, I see them still regularly. Hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you tomorrow.